Hi everybody, it's me Adele and welcome to my channel Sew for Serenity where I talk to you about my, look, my sewing journey, my love for dressmaking, fabrics, patterns and we have general sewing and life chit chat. So if that's something that sounds of interest to you, please keep on watching. Welcome back to all my regular viewers and if you're new here I hope you enjoy what you see and consider subscribing. So today's video is my August plans video. I haven't done one of these before, I tended to just um, talk about things I wanted to do on a weekly basis and never really have monthly plan plans and on my last Friday sews I talked about how I wanted to really focus my energies and have, an, have a monthly plan um, but not over commit too many plans just so I can you know if there's shiny new things that come I still have capacity to make those things so yeah this vlog will be all about my firm plans for August and what I want to make and I talk to you about the patterns and also the fabrics that I've got in mind for those so hopefully you enjoy that so it shouldn't be too much of a long vlog okay so first of all in the month of August I have a holiday plan so I am going away to Dorset with my family and when I say my family I mean my family I'm going with my children my husband and also my mum and dad and my um husband's mum and dad as well so it should be really really nice we are going to somewhere called Wareham in Dorset I've never been that that part of the country before and um, so that's going to be really really um interesting and exciting to discover some new areas um we're staying in a really nice cottage that's got um, a pool so yeah hopefully if the weather's nice we will be able to utilize that so because I've got that holiday, it means that I have got a whole week of not being able to sew. So that means that my capacity in August is a little bit more, um, is it a little less than what it normally would be. So what I've done is I, I've took that into account with the things that I want to actually sew. So I'm going to run through the things that I want to sew and some of those are, one of those is a collaboration. So I have to do that one. Um, so the first thing that I um, have, I'm going to get sewn up, and I'm doing that this week, is my Carolyn pajamas by Closet Core. So these pajamas are a really sophisticated set of loungewear that have this gorgeous piping detail on one of the views, which is the one that I'm going to make. Now I'm not going to tell you what fabric I'm doing for this because the fabric is just really cool, and I want it to be a kind of surprise. Um, and yeah so that's my reveal my reveal you'll get to see that so i'm doing that collaboration with emma from so do it emma we both want to make these pajamas so we have got this collaboration she's actually shared what fabric she's making hers in she's making it in this beautiful atelier brunette um double gauze which is this i think it's in powder color and it's a lovely really really pale dusky peachy pink and it's got little um gold um flex all the way through it it's really really stunning so yeah i think our version is going to be very very different um but equally will be both gorgeous um so that is my plans i have cut out the fabric now i did talk about i did talk about in one of my previous vlogs i think it was my mate nine vlog which i'll link here or here um the video that um i did really struggle and procrastinate about the sizing on this um, I've ended up making, cutting out the size 12, you, uh, the US size 12 in the top, which I think might be a bit too big, but I'm going with it. I'd rather be able to have it too big than too small. And then also I've gone for the size 14 in the trouser. So what I've read about this pattern is it does come up quite um, snug around the bottom area and I really don't like being constricted in my pyjamas. I like a nice baggy, loose, comfy fit. Um, so yeah I've gone for the size 14 in the bottom and I've gone for a size um, 12 in the top the bottoms don't have massive amounts of ease um, I probably would have been okay with the 12 but I just really don't want to risk making a mistake with this fabric so yeah that is coming soon and you should be able to see that collaboration I think we've agreed a date of the 12th of August so that is my focus for getting sewn up before I go on holiday and great news i'll be able to take them on holiday with me so yeah that's really exciting i am going to make view b which is the long sleeved long legged cuffed version which has got the piping and the piping i believe should be coming today i've ordered the piping i'm not going to make my own and i've ordered two colors um 
one is in black and one is in lilac so yeah a bit different but I'm not sure which one's going to suit it the most so I might do a bit of a mixture I don't know so yeah really excited to get working on that so that's my first plan my second plan is I have cut out um, the Nina dress by Fibre Mood and this is just an absolutely stunning dress by Fibre Mood that has um, beautiful pleat detail down the front bodice and a lovely um, a diamond or well, half diamond shape cut out in the back. I've had it cut out for quite a while and the fabric that I have got it cut out in is this wonderful um, cotton lawn that I got from Higgs and Higgs um, when I went to the creative craft show back in did I go there I can't actually remember was it in June yeah back in June um so that's all cut out and ready to go I just haven't got around to sewing it so the reason why I want to get this sewn up in August is at the end of August I'm actually going to somebody's wedding um a very good friend of mine's wedding and it's in Scotland which is really exciting um and me and my husband are going to make a weekend of it so it's on the Saturday of the bank holiday um but we're going up on the Friday and coming back on the Monday Alice is going to be with her um, grandparents and the my older children are going to be with their dad. So yeah, that's going to be a really lovely weekend and I need to make this dress up because I currently don't have really anything wedding-esque that actually fits me comfortably at the moment. I did have a, a lovely um, shop-bought dress um, but it's, it's far too small for me at the moment and I don't want to put any pressure on me to lose any more weight so yeah this is a nice free-flowing comfy dress which I think still is quite elegant and will look nice for a summer wedding so yeah that is my um, fibre mood um, Nina dress I want to get sewn on. So that's that. Um, the next thing that I want to make which is really exciting is my twirl of my heather blazer i have been talking about this for a while um just haven't i've had the fabric washed and ready to go um but i just haven't got round to actually cutting it out or anything so i've got the pattern printed out i haven't actually stuck it together yet so i do need to do that but the fabric that i'm going to twirl it in is this lavender um lilac -y, um i think it's like a it feels like a cotton canvas. I don't actually know what it is. Um, I've had it in my stash. It was a cheap fabric that I got from, I think, Snapdragon Fabrics. I've got a few metres of this. Um, lilac is not really my colour, but I think for a jacket, it will be okay. Um, and I'm also thinking if I've got enough to make a pair of shorts in it, but that will come later. So, yeah, I'm going to do the twirl in this um, for the Heather Blazer because I have this fantastic uh, Frida Kahlo fabric um which i am going to make my actual and i'll put a picture in of it because it's in my stash somewhere but yeah i've got this lovely um, cotton canvas that i got from beyond the pink door which is a see you at six fabric um and i'm going to make my actual heather blade blazer in that and i think that'll be really lovely for the autumn um and i i believe me and crystal from my social thread and Claire from Stitch Hem so we're all going to be making up that Heather Blazer together as a project to work together on uh, for September. Okay, so yeah, that is what I am going to make my Heather Blazer out of. And yeah, I think that's going to be a really nice um, make and hopefully a wearable twirl. And then my next make is going to be something for my mum. Um, I We got this fabric for my mum when we went to... Um, the creative craft show in june and it's this beautiful um it's like um flower floral ditzy print um yeah and it's just really really nice actually i think they were selling this on rainbow fabrics i might still have it in stock um, and my mum really liked this it's a viscose really drapey and i'm going to make my mum the indigo top in this and um, she liked that pattern i've washed all the fabric it should be a fairly simple sew. Um, I've not made the indigo before um, and I'm going to make it for my mum. So yeah, the only thing that's, that's kind of stopped me from doing that is I've got the paper pattern. So I will need to trace out her size because um, we are different sizes. So that is something I'd really like to get done from my mum because she, bless her, does um she's really impressed by sewing and um, yeah, she really cherishes anything that I make her. So, and I wasn't... I didn't love the last thing I made her because it, the fabric was a right 
pain to sew so i'd really like to make something that i'm really happy with as well so yeah that is the fabric that i'm going to make the indigo by tilling the buttons in and then my final firm plan for august is to sort out my daughter's pajamas so i made some pajamas for isabel before she went away to her camp um back at back in uh, july and um I haven't made my old daughter Lillian's yet so I have this wonderful fabric which is flamingo fabric on a navy background which is a novelty print but I think it's quite a nice novelty print so I've got um, a couple of meters of this to make um, Lillian a pair of pajamas she wants um, she wants long sleeves and she wants shorts so yeah a bit random she likes a long sleeved top but wear shorts um so yeah that is um i'm gonna i i think i can't remember what shorts pattern i'm gonna use but there's a couple out there that i'm going to do and then i'll probably just do the same t-shirt that i did for um isabel which i cannot remember for the life of me what it is but i'll put it in the notes um that was i think it's a free pattern anyway um from where i got it from but yeah that'll be really cute in that for her so i've been promising that for ages so i really want to get that sewn up um so they're my firm plans for august um it's really exciting to get those done um i think there's a couple of projects that i've got on the go at the moment so i've got my mccall's shirt dress that i've started and not finished yet and um, that's just a slow i'm just taking my time with it no hurry i haven't chosen buttons for it yet and i you know it'd be nice to get that finished um but i'm not putting massive amounts of pressure on me to get that one done um it'll get done when it gets done and then finally i have also if you've watched my friday sews i've made a start on a westcliff dress which i haven't made yet by friday pattern company and i'm making it in a wonderful um viscose jersey that i got from rainbow fabrics this is the fabric and it's very autumnal so it's more of an autumnal make really black black background with all these all my colors basically um the rusts the oranges and the turquoises absolutely stunning so i've made the bodice so far um and i would like to get that finished off um, you'll see you can see that on my friday sews video so i won't show it you now but yeah that's the other thing that i'd like to get finished off and then you know that is a good seven makes for the month would be perfect and i'll probably squeeze in a few you know additional things like maybe a couple of t-shirts for alice or whatever but yeah and then you know usually i get um a subscription box that comes through and i like to make that up um you know i'll have my little miss so and so subscription box that will come through um with the fabric for that so that will be something that i will make up as part of my commitment for my brand ambassadorship so that will be happening i also get my so Haley jane box as well around the 10th 11th of august um and my beyond the pink door as well so i do have a couple of subscription boxes thrown in there that sometimes i get really inspired by the fabric and want to make it up straight away so yeah so they're my plans let me know what you think have you made any of these patterns um and any advice that you may have about any of them that'd be great to hear um so yeah that's all from me for now i hope you've liked this vlog if you um have liked it please click the like button and if you don't subscribe already please subscribe i've had a little flurry of subscribers recently and i'd like to see that continue because it means that um the more subscribers i get and the more likes i get the more my content gets promoted by youtube and then the more um people can get to see my content so yeah thanks very much and i'll see you all soon happy sewing bye